Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Class of Heroes Anniversary Edition, shall we? I have to say I never played the original, so I'm excited to see what this is all about. Looks like a kind of an old school dungeon crawler type of game, which I love. Now, I'm going to put some links in the description below uh, for acquiring this game. I'm going to be playing on PS5, but you can also get it on Steam, uh, and I believe other consoles as well, so I'll put all the information down below for you, and let's dive in and check it out. Alright, we're going to go with a new game. Oh, there you are! The new students. This is Yuno, the professor, or headmaster, headmistress, I don't know what's going on. I'm your homeroom teacher. Okay, she's our homeroom teacher. My name is Yuno. You know what? I like your glasses. We'll be doing this for a short time that'll feel long, but I hope you have a good time studying here. Can't wait. Anyway, it's time for the entrance ceremony. We'll go to the gymnasium. Come with me. Okay, you know. It's Fenman. Welcome, new students. Congratulations on enrolling in this school. He has a kindly face. I'm your principal. My name is Fenman. Decades have passed since the paths suddenly appeared and changed the world in an instant. Since then, many great adventurers were on these, or went on these, mysterious and dangerous paths, or the labyrinths deeper in, bringing back many discoveries. If you all decide to become such adventurers and learn the ropes here in this school, make sure to study as best you can, for that is what you need to match the great adventurers that came before you. Particus Academy is a young school built a mere few years ago, but I hope that you and your teachers can cooperate and learn from each other. We have a 98% fatality rate in the paths. To make it match the prestigious um, Mashlenia College or the famous Rant Slate Institute and create a wonderful place of learning. With that, I conclude my speech. Thank you. Please do your best. You know what? I'm going to do my best. Thank you for the motivation. This is a beautiful gymnasium you have. All right, this is uh, Rhina. Thank you, Principal. Now let me explain the process you need to follow to take your classes. All right, explain away. First, there has been a change since last year. Now, students don't have to uh, have done the beginner or intermediate curriculums before taking the advanced curriculums. We're skipping to the top. Feel free to take the beginner curriculums if you want to learn the basics or the advanced curriculums if you have the skills. I don't. And before you take any lessons, please go through the enrollment process at the office. I will. You cannot be taught anything before that. Important. Once you've gone through the enrollment process, ask your homeroom teacher for your orientation. Build your parties at the officer dorms and go to the library's bulletin board to take the orientation lesson. Although you are permitted to go to the nearby paths, the curriculum officially begins after the orientation. Make sure you are as careful in your lessons as you can be. This concludes the entrance ceremony. We received permission to enter the Novice Road. Oh, and the Whole Day Road. All right. Hey, hold on. I know you want to jump straight into the labyrinths, but here's some advice for you. Okay. The labyrinths have been imbued with ancient magic. Keeps people out by constantly making them shift. Ah, so it's a roguelike. You go in there once, get out, and when you go back, it's completely different. Newbies like you got to be careful. That's cool. You know, I'm t totally getting like... You see the portraits on the left and the right. You get the old schooler, dungeon crawler. It's a party of six feel. There's some kind of like a Tyrian Odyssey, you know, business. I like it. You got your two permits. Those are for Novice Road and Whole Day Cave. The Novice Road is used for studies and leads right back here to Particus. But when you pass the Whole Day Cave, it takes you to the Whole Day Mountains to the east before you explore them. Make sure to take some lessons. If something happens to you, it'll be my fault. All right, the office is right there, dismissed. The students went to the office to go through the enrollment process. 
Okay. Use Organize to organize your party or enroll to create new characters. Exploring the dungeons requires parties. Indeed, create your characters and build your parties to properly prepare for your explorations. Okay, um, I guess we need to enroll. Um, okay, so this, well, let's make some people. Um, this will be, you know, Doctor and Comp, I guess. And here we go. All right. And, well, okay. Human, elf, dwarf, gnome, uh, Kulaz, fairy, Felper. Oh boy, there's a lot of these. Bahamoon, Diabolos. Celestia. All right. Uh, we'll just go human, and we'll go uh, good. And what's the student's major? Um, oh, okay. So I need to have certain stats to get... Okay, this is for uh, a mage. You need to be wise. Makes sense. Okay. We're going to go all wise. Um, st stabs, slingshots, yeah. And roll them. Okay, so then, uh, let me enroll some more students, I guess. Alright. So we're gonna get some big time players in here. Like, you know... Sally. And let's... She could be a, a healer. Probably should be good. And we're going to go for Priest. Um, there you go. Let's make you have some hit points. It seems good. Maybe a little damage you can do. And there you go. There we go. And roll it. Okay, so we have a healer, and uh, we have a wizard. Let's go for, um, you know, need a rogue. Uh, we got snake. Uh-huh. And Snake will be a man. And he's going to be like, I need somebody who's really fast. Who's this? Catman? Well, the fairy is pretty quick, too. But the Catman's better at fighting. Excuse me. All right. He's neutral. And we want, like, yeah, thieves. So how much agility do I have to have for that? Oh, I didn't get Thief. Okay. Maybe I need to be stronger. Okay. Um, maybe I need to be luckier? No, that's not doing it. Okay. Let me go down, and then let me see about, like... That unlocks absolutely nothing. Fighter... That's not what I want. Um. Well, what if I go, like... There you go. You gotta be real lucky to be a thief. Okay. That snake. He's the luckiest member here. Um. They can rob. Yeah, we need definitely somebody to rob people. It's, it's critical. Alright, you're in. Okay, and then we're going to edit. Um, oh, there's people you can use. Okay, I'm like making all these people that I might not need. Okay, we can use some regular, some pre-built. Okay. Um, Alright, so I enrolled people. Um, these are the people I've got. Courses. Uh, 
Okay. No, I think I feel good. Courses. Um... Oh, okay, to change courses. I get it. Um, adjust your party. Okay. Ah, camp menu. Triangle. This is where you check your character's stats or use items and spells if you find it necessary. You can also save your game... If you save in the dungeon and suspend your adventure, your game will be restarted from the academy or another base. However, the party will be garrisoned in the dungeon, so if you wish to continue from where you left off, choose Gates and Resume. Oh, okay. Um, formation, maybe. Help. At the academy. Um... Ah, okay, so I need to do L1 and R1, I guess. Maybe. This switches between the peeps. Edit. Okay, maybe this is like allows me to edit, like... Here we go, that's how you put people in. Okay. So we're going to edit our roster. Okay. So we have some people who are like level two. But first of all, um, let me see. Do I have like a fighter type? Not really. I have the Valkyrie. Okay, you're in. And then I have a summoner. No, I need to make some... I don't have any frontline peeps. I have a ninja. I mean, that seems good. But I need just like a regular fighter. So let me go back and enroll just... Um, station your party here, I guess. Um, name. Um. Alright. So we need a really tough guy. Um, named Bill. Who is going to be a male. And there's that big, who's the big poncho? Yeah. This guy. He's good. And course, he's already could be a fighter. Um, we're going to go ahead and just make this guy incredible with that. Bill, so stout. All right, so we're going to edit our party now. So we're going to, um, oh wait. Yes, okay, this party, and then we're going to add in Bill. I don't know if the ordering matters, I'll just do this, and then we're going to go for Snake, Doctor Incompetent, and Sally. Now that looks like a good team. I love this. Okay. So, um, station the party? No. Um, I think the party is good. So, alright. Um, the academy has all the facilities needed for adventure. You can stock up on supplies or enhance your gear. Go and have a look around. Okay, so I'm at the academy. Um, you can see the class icons. Probably put Bill at the front, but that's okay. So the first thing we had to go to is we got to go to, like, the office, right? Oh, no, that's where I was. Uh, what about the dormitory? Let's just see what's going down. This is where you can restore characters' magic uses, hit points, and put items in the storage. Also, while you can configure your party here, you cannot create new characters or delete them. Okay. We don't really need to do much. I like the art, though. It's cool. Anime feels. Here's the store. It's where you can buy and identify items and uncursed stuff. When you buy items, pay attention to their remaining stock. It can be increased by selling. Oh, okay. Ah, look at all those cards they have on the wall. We sell Magic the Gathering. Alright. Um, laboratory. This is is where you can use alchemy to synthesize items, dismantle, or upgrade them. When you properly select an item you want to do alchemy on, you're able to synthesize, dismantle, or upgrade them. You can select a maximum of three types of items, and if they come in stacks, you might have to select multiple times. When alchemy is successful, the recipe is added to the recipe book. Cool. Where you can always check the recipe in your book. Alright, I'm not going to do that. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. Let's check the library. 
The bulletin board is where you can take quests. Ooh, we need to do this. There's two types of quests, tasks and requests. Tasks are important quests that are part of the main story, while requests aren't necessary but can be prerequisites for other quests. There are no limit to how many quests you can take, so you might as well accept them all. This is where you can check the yearbook in Library 2 that's filled with your progress as well as the records, map, catalog, and items. Okay, cool. Um, principal, do we want to talk to the old guy? This is where you can use hypnosis to change your character's alignment. This is like, what, you manipulate the principal? No, no, we're really good. Um, hypnosis has to be taken to know if it would work, and if it does, it cannot be canceled. Be careful. All right, I don't want to hi hypnotize anybody. Let's go ahead and hit the labyrinth. So I'm going to go novice road just to see if I get the ropes. All right, while in the dungeons, you can use L1 and R1 to move to the sides. And by pressing and holding X, you will open the exploration menu from where you will be able to retrieve dead allies. Oh, my God. Or investigate the surroundings. Also, while dungeons are labyrinths that randomly shift, placing a party in them will fix the dungeon's structure, use multiple parties to make exploring easier. Wow, that's really cool. So you're like, in, you kind of put a group in there to hold the structure in place, and then you have like other groups. That's an interesting twist. Okay, so I'm looking around now. We're in first person dungeon crawl mode. I'm going to go to the party menu, and I'm going to say, do I want to change the formation? And I might. So I might want to have Bill and then Gene, and then this dude, Keiji, and then Snake, and then Sally, and then the wizard. Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right, let's go. So I'm just going to walk around. Looking good. All right, I'm just going to keep going forward. Do I have, like, a map? Examine. Nothing here. Okay. I mean, if I do have a map, let's see, is it in here? Um, quest. Ah, orientation. I'll show you around. Oh, no. I forgot to do, th do that one. I just went like, right in. I forgot to look for quest in the library. Okay, I made it up here. It's sealed using magic. You're sealed using magic. All right, what's in here? Something appeared. It's a fight. It looks like some bees. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and have Bill attack. Gene's going to attack. My dude here, uh, he has a breath attack. Let's try that. Um, you know, he actually can't attack from the back row, maybe? So if he or he has no equipment. I think I forgot to get her some equipment. So Because I don't have slingshots, so I need to get that. Oh my god, Bill got hit. Bill. Alright, we got one down. Okay, there's Sparrow Flies. Alright, attack, attack. And go ahead and attack. And then I'm gonna actually use magic with Dr. Incompetent. And um, I have some, you know, fire spells, I guess. Thirty-one damage. That's right. You're wrecked. Got him. Ow. All right. We're almost there. I'm gonna save my magic points. There it is. We got sixty-three experience. We got material, and we got a treasure chest. She already leveled up. She got wisdom and faith, vitality. Oh my god. Oh. Lost luck. Hit points went up by 20. Good lord. All right. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to um, disarm with our thief. But we don't know what type it is. Oh, this is very much like wizardry. Let's check it with the thief stone trap. Okay, so dis disarm with the thief stone trap. It, we got it, and we got a scrap. All right, that's awesome. So, I think we just run away. Is this the running away? Um, doesn't look like... Is there a staircase here? It's a door. I bet it is. Um. Oh, my God. Well, I guess... Maybe you just go here and you go... 
Um, no, that doesn't do it. Yeah, you can strafe. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Oh my god, they're looking right at us. They're level 3 bats. Um, are they going to fight us? Watch. Okay, now they're attacking. Maybe I should have attacked. I gave him, like, a free turn. I feel bad. Magic. What can you do? You can heal. And you can wake people up. Defend. Which we're going to do some magic for sure. Hit him with the flames. It, this actually would put everybody to sleep. Let me try to put them to sleep. There's so many of them. Ow. Ow. That guy ran away. Okay, we got one of us asleep. I'll consider it a massive victory. Magic. Heal. Gene. Magic. Um. Fire. Alright, now we're just going to attack. Defend. Oh, I did not mean to run. Thank God. Okay. Oh no, everybody wasted their turn because I tried to run. Alright. Slow down. Defend. 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 Got him. Jackpot. Okay. So we kind of came in right here. And I'm alarmed that we can't find a way out. So let's look for, like, some switches or something. It's locked. Oh, look at this. What's this? Exit. Yeah. Sweet. We got to get out of here. All right. So we got to go back. I made a mistake. I apologize to everyone. We need to go to the store. All right. So um, we need to buy stuff. So, um, wait a minute, what's this? This is what these different people have. So they have staves and they have a dagger, but that's not going to be good enough. So Snake needs to buy, like, um, well, what's he good with? Combine money. So we have 200. Actually, Sally, can you buy a sling? No. Oh, dear. Okay. Here, let's try to sell. Well, we got some material. Item bag. Yeah, item bag. Well, we don't know what it is. All right. So then I guess we can identify stuff over here in the item bag. Thick skin... Shell dust. Broken arrows. Okay. I spent a little bit of money on that, but that seems worth it. Alright, so what we can do is then... I could go to the infirmary. This is where you treat debuffs, including death. Oh, God. Outpatient if you want to do the healing yourself or give requests to retrieve friends whose dead bodies are left in the dungeons. You can also get experience by donating. Oh, that's cool. Um, I don't really need to do this. We don't have anything that serious going on. Let's just go ahead and rest. Oh my god, it costs 100 gold to rest? I don't have the money for that. I'm ruined. Okay, I gotta go make some more money. Alright, um... Well, let's go to the lab. Alchemy. Alright, do it. Um, I don't know. Am I making anything with this? It doesn't look like I'm making anything. Like, or I don't have any recipes. Do I? 
Oh, I need stone fragment and tough stone to make a sling stone. Okay, well, we need that for sure. All right, well, I guess probably just have to go back down into the, uh, the dungeon for that. Let's go to the library bulletin board. Accept. Light orientation. This is where your homeroom teacher, Miss Yuna, will show you around school. She's at the office, so report to her that you're taking this lesson and have her tell you the details. Huh? Me? I'm Sarah, a member of the library committee. I'm here to support people taking quests. Say hello? Yes. Yeah, let's get along. Anyway, good luck. She's like, thanks for saying hi. All right, so let's go to the office then and um, report. Orientation. Oh, you're here? Anyway, let's start the orientation. For your sake, I hope you get used to the school quickly and don't waste too much of my time. Let's start by looking at the school from the outside. Miss Yuno led the students outside where they could look the school over. So yeah, this is the panorama of your school, Particus Academy. Now, let me tell you about each building in order. The right is the dorm. This is a boarding school, so that's where you live. To the left is the new building where you find the lab with all the research happening, as well as the store selling stuff for both daily life and combat. And it's where you'll find the infirmary, where we treat the sick and injured. And in the middle is the main building. It's where you'll find the office and the classrooms. Behind it, there's the building with the library, and even further is the tower with the principal's office at the top. The library is where you accept quests and look things up, so use it well. I guess that's good enough for a general explanation. Let's look inside. We'll start at the office. The students and Miss Yuno enter the office. This is the office where we teachers do our work. This is where you'll find me most of the time. Here, you can not just enroll students, but also let them change course. Also, I teach the general curriculum, so come here when you have that lesson. Next to the dorms. The students and Miss Yuno went to the dorms. Welcome to Particus Academy, everyone. I'm Maxter, the student council president. If you have questions or thoughts about the school, feel free to share them. It's the president. Yeah, what he said. Anyway, let's go to the store. It's a whirlwind tour, Miss Yuno. The students and Miss Yuno went to the store. Oh, new students, huh? Welcome, you morons. I'm Nyaoman. I teach the thievery curriculum. You better not forget that, damn it. Wow, she's a sassy lassie. I run this store, so go on and buy something, you big oafs. Hey, don't force them. Okay, let's go before she makes you all spend your money. This is the lab. I stole all my goods from you, and now I'm selling them back to you at a high price. You get it? The students in Miss Yuno went to the laboratory. Welcome to the lab. I'm Docs, and I'm in charge of the wizardry curriculum. I plan on revealing your identity to everyone on the internet. I hope we get along. By the way, do you happen to have any rare items? Huh? You don't? A shame. You mean these um, items I just collected aren't rare? I like collecting rare items very, very, very much, you see. The shines on them, it's like they were subjected to a spell. The shapes that ooze practical beauty. Ah, just thinking of them makes me go crazy. Oh my god, he's going crazy. You feel the same way, don't you? Hey, Docs, calm down. Uh, don't mind him. He's always like this. Anyway, next... The students and Miss Yuno went to the infirmary. Uh, the students. Right. Hi, my name's Joru. Are, are you drinking on the job, Joru? I'm the health and PE teacher, and I'm in charge of the divine curriculum. Huh, this? It's not booze, it's just juice. Yeah, that's right, just juice. It's juice you get by letting grains ferment, then distilling and maturing it. Ah, you mean booze. It's pretty good. I know he doesn't look like it, but he's actually good at what he does. If you get hurt during class, come next, uh, come to him and rub his chest hair and you will be fine. The students in Miss Yuno went to the gymnasium. There was already a class taking place there. This is the gymnasium. I don't think I have to explain it. Anyway, next is the roof. Uh-oh. Why are we going up here? This is the roof. Nice view, huh? You should try eating your lunch here when the weather's good. Ah, youth. Anyway, let's go to the courtyard. The students went to the courtyard. This is the courtyard. Well, every school has a place like this. 
So that's basically it for the orientation. Let's finish it with a visit to the principal's office. Before that, though... For some reason, Miss Yuno stopped by the store and brought some bread. In the principal's office, there was a collapsed woman on the floor. Uh-oh, Miss Reiner, are you okay? Miss Yuno, do you have something to eat? I'm so hungry. Well, it just so happens. Thought as much. Here you go. Thank you. Arr, this hungering beast is Miss Reiner. She's both the principal's secretary and the combat teacher, and also his niece. Despite being like this, you can trust her to teach you well. You could count on me as long as I've had some food. Oh, there are so many of you here. Are you going around the school? You know it. Sorry about that, Principal. Was this not a good time? Oh, no, of course not. It's not a good time at all. So this person here... Yes, hello, everyone. I'm the Principal. Um, Feynman. This academy is only a few years young. Its history is short, and I'm still trying to learn the ropes. But Miss Yuno and all the other teachers here are doing their best to make it the best it can be. I hope that you students also do what you can to learn all you need to become excellent adventurers. Me too, dude. Anyway, I have something to do, so please stop talking to me. Um, oh, he left. Okay. And that's it. You'll be in for some serious teaching for tomorrow onward, so you better be prepared. Anyway, we're done. Dismissed. Orientation completed. We got something. I don't know if that was money or experience or what, but we got it. Well, all right, everybody. Well, how about that? We had our first day. We explored the school. We built a party. We went down into the dungeon, got into a little scrap or two, and we're rocking and rolling. I have some work I need to do with this party, getting some ranged weapons for the back row, etc., but, man, this is totally an old-school dungeon crawler. It takes wizardry, but then puts, you know, the random dungeons on it, and also looks like it has some school elements, kind of like uh, Persona, perhaps. So I'm excited to see how it unfolds, and I'd love to know what you all think of this game, Class of Heroes. Please put your thoughts in the description. I'm sorry, in the comments below, but in the description is where you will find links to this game if you want to follow it up and look for it on Steam or on consoles. And there is also Class of Heroes 2, which I'll be checking out. So there is a, a couple of games in this Anniversary Edition to look at. And you can see that it definitely has some vibe and anime style, some music, and looks like some challenging uh, but rewarding combat systems. There's crafting, alchemy, on and on. I'm excited to see more, and I'd love to know your impressions in the comments down below. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Take care.